I'm Matt from Unlimited. Welcome to this Q&A. It is Q&A time once again here at the Unlimited YouTube channel, the Unlimited Facebook page, and the Unlimited One Twitter page. If you have a question for a future Q&A video, information, description box down below. There's going to be another WrestleMania Q&A coming up in the next couple of weeks. I don't know when, but I do plan on posting some more videos over the next couple of weeks. So the prompt for that Q&A will be in the description box of one of those videos. So just uh, make sure you look at the description box of all of the videos that I'm going to be posting. So this Q&A is about the WWE Hall of Fame. I figured since we're in WrestleMania season and every year, one of the biggest uh, things going for WrestleMania is the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And it's a good time to talk about uh, who's going in it this year. It's a good time to talk about who is in it, who isn't in it, who should be in it, who shouldn't be in it. So we got a whole bunch of questions. Definitely not as much as the WrestleMania Q&A that I did beforehand. But enough questions to do a Q&A nonetheless. So Matthew Mullins, should Vader be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year since he's in his final days? Yes. I think he should have already been in it. I think doing it now is definitely the smart time to do it, definitely the right time to do it. Uh, yes, definitely. Should the British Bulldog or Owen Hart ever be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Yes, they should. British Bulldog should definitely be in it. Owen Hart should definitely be in it. The one problem with Owen Hart, though, is you still have to get through his wife, and you still have to get through his family. And uh, even though this is going to sound a little bit distasteful, they got to get over it. He's dead, and they can't bring him back. Nothing they're going to do, no lawsuit that they're going to file is going to bring back Owen Hart. So I think Martha Hart needs to realize that it's an honor for Owen Hart to be in the Hall of Fame and that the WWE is trying to respect his legacy by putting him in the Hall of Fame. Just my opinion. Brian Klimazewski, why is Brian Kendrick not in it yet? He's still active. <laughs> Just saying. Francesco Bruno, do you think championship titles should be retired and in the Hall of Fame? Uh, well, they are retired, so should be retired, yes. But uh, in the Hall of Fame, no. I would like to see more arenas inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'd like to see more, um, instead of matches, maybe induct rivalries, maybe induct feuds. Uh, you could definitely induct the Hogan-Andre feud. You can induct the Rock-Austin feud or the Austin-McMahon feud. Um, but yeah, instead of individual wrestlers and tag teams and all those and all that stuff, uh, no, I don't think titles should be inducted. Because if you look... Honestly, uh, the ones with the most history are still active today. So what... Uh, you get what I'm saying? Unless they retire the IC title, unless they retire the US title, and unless they retire the world title, which is obviously never going to happen, um, I don't see the reason uh, for them going into the Hall of Fame. But yeah, I'd like to see more arenas get inducted, like Madison Square Garden... Uh, the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, um, you know, the Phillips Arena in Atlanta, the Atla uh, Georgia Dome, because uh, you had some WCW shows there in the past and you had WrestleMania there. Uh, those are just some. The uh, whatever that arena is in Baltimore, the, the first Mariner Arena, I think it's called, you know, arenas like that. Um, even some old ones that are knocked down and gone, like the Philadelphia Spectrum definitely be up there the ecw arena that's still there today that definitely could be up there um in terms of some feuds that i would induct like i mentioned already hogan and andre rock austin austin mcmahon 
Um, <laughs> when they both retire, Cena versus Orton. <laughs> That's a feud we can all agree on should go in the Hall of Fame. Why do you think behind the scenes people haven't been inducted into the Hall of Fame? This comes from Walter Maine. Good question. And this actually kind of weeds into his other question of will Toots Mont be inducted in the Hall of Fame? And if you don't know who he is, look him up. Well, I looked him up. And yes, he should be inducted. I don't know why he's not. Instead of inducting all these crappy celebrities every year, how about putting someone that's known in the wrestling business for doing something big in the Hall of Fame? He's the reason why Bruno San Martino got the push that he got, got the titles, the title reigns, excuse me, that he got. And he's part of the reason why the WWE was put on the map in any capacity to begin with. So yes, Toots Mod should go into the Hall of Fame. Why don't they induct behind-the-scenes people? Honestly, why not? I would like to see them inducted. Because, yes, the performers are what makes the show possible, but also the people behind the scenes make the show possible. The ring crew, the backstage agents... The guys working closely with Vince McMahon, the guys working closely with Triple H in the past, in the present. Why not? Angel Ernest, should they mention how the president is a Hall of Famer this year? <laughs> I'd be stunned if they did it. And I would also be kind of shocked if Trump didn't make some sort of an appearance at WrestleMania 33. And honestly, I want that to happen. The eyeballs on the WWE, the eyeballs that the WWE are going to get because the President of the United States is on their television show, is on their pay-per-view, do it. Absolutely do it. I don't know why you wouldn't. All that mainstream attention, all those eyeballs on you, whether it be in a positive standpoint or a negative standpoint, you don't want that publicity. And it's not like, you know, it's not like Barack Obama going on to a WWE show. It's Donald Trump. You've known, you, you know that he's been on WWE programming before. He's spearheaded two WrestleManias by hosting them at the Atlantic City Convention Center. Um, so yeah, and you know Vince and Trump are good pals, and Linda's on his, in his cabinet, excuse me, uh, as the small business director, whatever the case may be, whatever the hell she is. Uh, why not get Donald Trump at WrestleMania? You may hate me for saying that, but WWE perspective... It's not a bad move at all. What year will John Cena be inducted? <laughs> Every single year. <laughs> uh, should Vince McMahon ever be inducted? Well, his father was. If Vince Sr. was inducted, why wouldn't Vince be inducted? Just saying. Who are you looking forward to seeing in the Hall of Fame one day? Owen Hart, uh, Bam Bam, Triple H, Oh man. Um sorry, there's a there's an inside joke and that's that's why I'm laughing. Triple H going into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Triple H might be the first ever three hundred and thirty three time inductee or six hundred and sixty six time inductee, excuse me. <laughs> if any of you watch the Schleg Daddy, you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, but yeah, Owen Hart, Bam Bam Bigelow, Rick Rude, uh, British Bulldog, um, the NWO as a group, DX as a group. Hmm. Those are just some off the top of my head. How do they pick the Hall of Famers? Uh, very simple. If you appear once, you're eligible. See Drew Carey. Uh, who is in the Hall that you agree with? Oh, wait a minute, no. Who is in the Hall of Fame that you disagree with? Well, I just named one, Drew Carey. One appearance, and he's in the Hall of Fame. From a wrestling standpoint, Coco Beware, why the hell is he in the Hall of Fame? Some of the celebrities that are in the Hall of Fame, I don't really think should be. Pete Rose. Yeah. Like I said, Drew Carey. Yeah. Probably going to get Shaquille O'Neal this year. He got Snoop Dogg last year. He's kind of upset that they inducted Snoop Dogg before they inducted uh, Motorhead. Because Motorhead's done a lot more for the business in terms of music than Snoop Dogg has. Just saying. Uh... In terms of wrestling, I don't think that there are a lot of teams or superstars or anyone that is completely 100% undeserving other than Coco Beware, but you never know. You never know. They could surprise us all and induct uh, guys like Colin Delaney into the Hall of Fame. Oh, God. <sighs> anyway, those are all the questions for this Hall of Fame Q&A. Thank you for sending these questions my way. Again, information on how to submit questions for a future Q&A video, description box down below. Yay. If you're wondering why I'm so frustrated and agitated and I don't look happy, uh, WrestleMania 33 is not exciting me in any way, nor should it really be exciting you in any way. Because a lot of your favorites are going to be featured in wrong spots and this and that. Whatever the case may be. Thank you for sending these questions. I'll be back with a WrestleMania Q&A over the next couple of weeks sometime. There we go.